Hi, it's Rob here. Um, I'm actually going to the uh, launch of a new watch at Bodemars Piguet now. I must admit, I don't get out as much as I should. I've, I've become a bit too comfortable at home. Uh, and normally you see my live videos in one of my studios in, in the home office. Um, but you've got to get yourself out and about, haven't you? So um, you might be looking for a raise in JV Finance. You might be looking for partners, staff, uh, you know, team members to build your business and um, get yourself out and about. Now, uh, my business partner, Mark Homer, he's had great results meeting some great interesting people in JV Partners. Uh, his local shooting club, now I'm not into rifles and 12 bores and all that kind of thing, but he's met all sorts of crazy, fun, very wealthy individuals at his local shooting club. Um, my, my business partner and I fly the helicopter, so um, we've met all sorts of great, interesting people, JV partners, well-financed individuals, successful business people, going to our, um, when we, you know, fly our local flying club. Now, we don't fly, fly jumbo jets, um, so, you know, just putting it into context. Um, now, you might be able to go to business networking events locally to you, you might be able to go to... Uh, London Business Angel events or Angels Den events, you know, going and meet, going to places where there are people with money. Uh, and, you know, I never really used to want to do that when I was an artist. I was like, oh, I don't want to go out there with loads of people with money. Oh, you know, it's not all about money. And, oh, I'm going to be judged. And, uh. and um, you know, like, I kind of need to, you, you get over yourself at the end of the day. What, what better thing to do in life than to be with smart people, to learn from smart people, to be around people who are well connected? Because it's not just about meeting people with money. It's about meeting people who know other people who've got money or because they've got money, they've clearly been successful at something. So, um, yeah, Samantha's just said, I like the idea of learning to fly. I did it because I, I loved Airwolf as a kid and it was just a childish fantasy of mine. But actually, it's a great way to do business. It's a great way to meet really connected people. My, um, the, the guy who taught me to fly in terms of the, when you fly, you have um, your lessons with someone and then you have your exam, as it were, your practical flying exam with another uh, instructor. And the, the guy that um, took my, prop, my flying test, um, he used to fly Mark Webber all around the, the world, you know, like privately as a, you know, as a private um, pilot, basically. So, you know, you just meet great, random, interesting people. Now, I've met some really great people, um, you know, through Odomar's Piguet. It's a, my favourite watch brand. I'm very loyal to them. I've got another one of their watches on. Um, and, yeah, I've, I've become some, you know, some good friends with some of the people who are also Odomar's Piguet watch aficionados, uh, you know, and, and some of the people who work in, you know, for the company. So, um, yeah, you don't see me getting out much, uh, you know, have, uh, getting older and a bit of a, a homeboy. But um, my agent um, emailed me and said, you have to do some live feed videos while you're out. Now, I never wanted to be the person who's like, look at me live feed in the back of my Uber. <laughs> but I've got to get myself and do that. And also never wanted to be the person that said, oh, I've got an agent. Look at me using my agent. Um, but he kept telling me to do it. Now, as if when we're, you know, having the launch of this watch, I'm going to be live feeding going, oh, man, look at this new watch. Um, yeah, if I do, you've got, you know, I've gone crazy and spent too much money. So hopefully this is useful. Let me summarise. Uh, get yourself out and about. Go to places where there are um, people who are well connected, who've got money, who are interesting, who you can learn from, who are successful. Force yourself out of your comfort zone. Don't, you know, if you get comfortable staying in or not going out much, get out more. Or force yourself in your comfort zone where you're around people who are a little bit, you know, they stretch you because, you know, they're very... Um, yeah, you know, they're very successful and sometimes that can make you feel a bit overwhelmed. Get yourself out there because you know what? In three months, six months, 12 months, that'll be normal. Samantha's just said, my agent, the PR company, you've changed. No, I'm still the same person. Um, yeah. All right, so thanks. If you've got any questions, uh, ping them in. Um, I was just catching up on my emails, actually. Uh, but, yeah. Um, hi, Grace Lynn. How are you doing? Yeah, so um, get yourself out there. Uh, yes, Chris, I am in London. We should have caught up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm around the Mayfair area if you're around, but I'm, I'm yeah, I don't, I actually don't know what they're doing with me. They just invite me to all these uh, watch launches because I bought so many watches. I must be the easiest person to sell to in the world. Hey Rob, come and buy loads of watches. All right, no problem. Um, okay, anyway, so I don't want to just ramble on about a video. I just want to give you some value. Um, so get yourself out there, meet interesting people. Uh, the thing I love most about life really is people. You know, like you learn so much through people. You, um, you know, people can um, impart the best information to you. You know, books are great, audio books are great, but you know, listening to 
to people who've been there and done it and they're, they're giving you the down and dirty stories and some of the mistakes and some of the crazy things that happen you know and you're looking in their eyes and you can gauge how the pain they felt and the emotions they felt when they went through it that is one of the most interesting things to do and you know one of the greatest gifts to me personally of doing my podcast a disruptive entrepreneur is I just get to meet really cool cool people who are very interesting who've got stories who've lived a life who've you know made a made a difference they mattered what they did uh, and I think if you push yourself to even if you're not really that much of a people person um, because I used to be quite social when I was in my 20s mostly through drink um, and uh, then when I got into my 30s uh, you know especially when I was sort of struggling in my art days I became a very unsocial antisocial a bit scared uh, and then I got out myself again and then as I got into my sort of mid 30s it all came back again so I, I would challenge you if you think you're an introvert I don't think you are I just think you haven't met people that you're interested in yet because we're all an extrovert when we're doing what we love uh, business personal development making money making a difference to we're all an extrovert and we're all confident in that area and when we're around people who interest us who have got common desires goals aspirations dreams you know that could be a business money raising finance joint ventures property watches you know whatever then you're not an introvert anymore because you just that all of that um, baggage and those fears and doubts and concerns like I had of doing a live feed video in an Uber this is the first time I've ever done one it might be the last um, yeah they all just go away and you just get into the essence of conversation and you know if you're pitching for money or for business or for partnerships don't go in there and say hey I've come to this watch event because I want to raise a million pound off you have you got any money mate you know a lot of people are going and they're going there just for the money um, by the way kudos to that kudos to getting off your ass and going in for something but if you go there to converse with people to show interest in them to you know think six uh, 12 touch points down the line or six or 12 months down the line when you're still in contact with them you know and you've built a little bit more history together and you know and you know each other a bit better um, a lot of property investors follow me and you know what they do is they wait until they're desperate for money and they go around everywhere uh, trying to um, you know get money off everyone and you know you you, you might get a three percent hit rate you might meet 100 people you might raise finance from three of them that's fine it's good but it's attritional and it's just like burning the other 97 people who are like oh go away I don't know you go away you want my money um, but you know imagine if you'd been going to flying clubs charity balls you've been going to watch launches shoots um, your local networking events, your business events, London Business Angels, Angels Den, which my, my friend Ray McLennan is very involved in, and I interviewed Bill Morrow, didn't I, for my podcast. Imagine if you'd been going there to them for three years, and then you needed some money. Or then you had a business proposition, or you had your new tech app that you wanted to start, and it needed the first round of funding. You'd just call up your mates and say, hey, you know, I've got a, a little idea, a little venture, what do you think? And it wouldn't be like, mm, pitchy, horrible. It would just be, it would naturally happen, because there'd be less friction because you've got the trust which reduces the friction and increases the speed of money flow. All right, yes, so uh, I think that's more than enough for, uh, from Rob for now, Hi, who was walking in the back there. Uh, yep, yeah, so thanks for tuning in, see you soon. Remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. And remember, so make sure you subscribe to my podcast. Um, which I'm sure most of you are. And if you're not, make sure you share it. You know, we're doing something um, that really helps people with the podcast. I think I've, I think I have more than a million subscribers now. Um, yeah. How did that happen? Cheers. See you later.